Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Uh, we're doing real good here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> we got maybe two foot of snow coming within the next couple of days. We already have a foot on the ground, so that's going to be a total of three feet of snow. And, uh, and that's almost up to my knees, I think, if not further. So I'll be staying home and uh, playing. <laughs> I call it playing. Some of you would call it crafting. So today I've got a huge doily lace book that I made um, a while back. And for some reason, this is just big. And uh, I look at some of your projects and they're small. And this is just big. I don't know why it got this big, but I followed somebody's direction on the uh, the size of how to make one and um, I think I've cut my sizes down but this is the biggest one I've got and this is the front page and here I, I got it tied with uh, organza ribbon and this little stuff is silk silk ribbon and I don't have any more of it because I've used it all and it's expensive so I'm looking for a sale on silk ribbon so anyway I've got some uh, little tufts of organza fabric this is actually the salvage edge of it and some real pretty lace at the top and some trim very pretty heart trim and a wedding applique very pretty let me untie this and I've left this loose uh, it's not attached so I'll just take it off and this butterfly is an applique Let's see if I can get a little bit closer and it's got some pearls and some rhinestones and a uh, little pearl flat backs and the antenna I put on there. And then I've got some uh, rhinestone butterflies at the bottom. And then the trim goes all the way around the book with a little pink flat backs and a little more little tufts of. Uh, organza with one of those little flowers and then uh, lots of lace on the bottom got this one very pretty and then this one this one is a is a double layer on that one and then the uh, book is fabric I believe I used felt and then on top of the felt, I put uh, it's kind of a, a material netting. So it's netting and a material. And then this little skirt. Let's see if I can move it back. Got the this lace and then a row of dangles fringe. And then under that. Oh, that's the next page. So that's that page. And then the back is made with this nice, big, fluffy uh, flower. And uh, this was a pin. Actually, I think this was part of a necklace, and I tore it up. And then I put uh, Mother of Pearl, pink Mother of Pearl dangles. And little charms and then on the side I've got the uh, dangles again and very pretty lace goes <laughs> red page goes here and then this is a different type one here very pretty and that's the back page and that's that netting fabric so, uh, and then these two are 
uh, very pretty appliques with just a single rose in the center. And then this lace goes all the way around. So that's the front, back, and side. And then the first page is these. And this is going to be hard for me to show because it's so big, but I'll try. And let's see. And you probably don't need an explanation of everything you can see. But I put some trim around. These are all fabric um, pictures, padded. And pretty, pretty trim all the way around and a little bow at the bottom and some more um, lace around that there's uh, three layers one two three on the picture frame and some pretty lace at the top with the uh, pink trim and then this flower i made this here just uh, a variety of things <coughs> Just all glued together and the pretty lace flower and then of course the doilies in the back and more lace. So that's that one and this pretty lady and her hat. Let's see if I can get a close up. So you can tell that uh, there's all kinds of things on these pages and not too much. I don't like to put too much. And then there. And the spine was made out of uh, hard cardboard, but everything else is soft. And then the next page, I laid out flat first so you can see. And this is one applique up here, one whole applique going across the top. And uh, very pretty ladies with their hats and just simply decorated with flowers and little bits and pieces of uh, lace and paper flowers and uh, stickles. I'll show you a little close up. Pretty appliques that frame the ladies. This is another trim, little small trim. I don't know if you're seeing this very good, but you get the picture, I'm sure. And then the next page is my blue page. And I have a little plastic bag here because <clears throat> I have a, a pin. Sometimes they like to catch. So I'll put a pin on a plastic bag on those so it doesn't catch to the next page. And then on the side, this is the center, I have another pin. It's abalone shell. I like to use a, a real jewelry in mine, uh, things I've collected over the years. And a little, this is actually not, uh, it's a pin, but it's also a necklace. So I've left the chain on it. Beautiful appliques. And I put a uh, little flat back in the um, dangle part. And... <clears throat> I'm not going to go through every little thing on the page, but you can see what's on there. And this one, I love the uh, pearl appliques on this one. They were huge. And I, I didn't want to cut them apart, so I, I used whole pieces. And I think it turned out really pretty. I have um, maybe three or four rows of lace on each page. And beautiful flowers and she's in the gardens uh, 
enjoying her roses. Don't we all do that? So that's the center page. This place here was a curtain and I just loved it. I know it's big, but I don't care. It's still pretty. And then the next page is my pink page. Very pretty <clears throat> little girls. This little girl reminds me of Belinda's granddaughter. Isn't she pretty? There's all kinds of little things, little butterflies and flowers. And the little pink and white appliques that you can just cut apart and put anywhere. And more dangles and lace. Some pink dangles, parts of a doily, and I believe I <clears throat> colored this applique here with uh, food coloring. So that's that little girl, and then this little one. I put a frame around her and stickled it. I say stickle, it's probably just glitter glue. I think I ran out of stickles a long time ago. And uh, beautiful little paper and, and uh, ribbon roses. And the uh, butterfly I made just using little parts of a doily and uh, uh, parts of flowers. Oh, that's that page. And then this one. Sorry, it, this one is just so hard to hold. So, uh, this one's just part of a doily and some Battenberg lace and some more lace here and I love this little trim and more of that uh, um, lace that I dyed. I kind of like it when it comes out variegated when you got some little spots of white and some more trim. And some little flowers that you can make using little pieces of doily. And I made this little piece here using uh, five large pearls. And then you put uh, the center in there and then a little heart rhinestone. And I made this one also. This little piece. And just a little tuft of uh, pearl and a drop. And this lady, pretty flowers, and then a, just a little piece of a jewelry necklace, I think, and so <clears throat> this is my little big book. <laughs> I don't have a name for it, but maybe I'll have one by the time I get it uploaded. And then, of course, the last page. So, yeah, um, this was fun to do. It really was, but it's hard to show. And um, so this one's going to get put up and kept for my granddaughters. So thank you for coming in, wherever you are. I hope uh, you don't get too much snow. Uh, we have a, a generator here if we lose power. Plus, I have my wood burner, so we'll all be okay. And uh, so, y'all stay warm. Stay inside if you can. And uh, maybe the snow will pass quickly. We hope. And I'm, I'm hoping for spring real soon. 
So remember, turn off the news, turn on the music, and dance today. Thank you all for stopping in. Bye-bye.